what allowed me to really find a lot of success in Freedom Builders, and we're word of mouth, by the way. Like, we don't do a lot of advertising. We've done almost 120 build-outs, either in, in progress wow. currently or completed in the last, you know, three years. And it's 98% of it has been word of mouth. Yeah. So the reason that we're able to grow is because, you know, there's a concept in business called chunking laterally. Um, and I took a lot of the concepts that I learned in fine dining in restaurants and I brought it into the online space. And the reason that I was able to find so much success is because there's so many people right now in the online space that are promising unicorns and delivering donkeys. They're, they're, they're asking for 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. I've been part of masterminds that are even more than that, where I was just disappointed in the fulfillment of it. Yeah. Right. So it's not enough to just sell someone on your process. You then also have to fulfill at that high high level. And a lot of people just fall short, in my personal opinion, in this space, in the arena of fulfillment. And I set out a goal and I set the intention with my team from the very start. It's like, we are going to build the best support system in the industry. Like, People are going to feel as if they are our only clients, even though we have 28 projects going at the same time and each project has a thousand moving parts. So it's yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like they are going to feel like that 100% of the time. And, you know, I think we've done a really good job at really being able to fulfill on that intention and on that promise that I set out, you know, to, to do from the beginning. Um, but that allows us to stand apart. That allows mm -hmm. us to differentiate ourselves. And the space actually made it very easy. <laughs> like, and it's like all the people out there is like, make $100,000 in two weeks or whatever. Oh my like, God, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, whatever it is, make a million dollars. And it's like, you're building a business. Building a business takes time. Yeah. It takes time. We can give you the strategies. We can give you all the, the parts. We literally do it for our clients. But at the end of the day, like if you don't insert the time variable into your business, what that causes you to do is to stop talking about your product. Nothing kills a business faster than a creator of that business who doesn't promote the product. Like it will destroy the business because then people are like, oh, I guess they just like don't have that thing anymore. Well, oh, that sucks. I really wanted to buy it. And what people don't understand about like these promotional periods is that they're always planting seeds. So you see like people like coaches on social media, it's like, you know, one week they're, I don't know, like a gut health coach. And then the next week they're like, you know, I don't know, selling, you know, whatever product. And then the right. other week they're like doing something else. It's like, whoa, what are these people doing? It's hard to position yourself as one thing or as the authority as that one thing. If you keep switching back and forth, you know, because your audience is just going to be confused and the confused buyer says no every single time, like every time. So, you know, what we tell our clients is, listen, promote this thing, ride this thing until the wheels fall off because you have no idea the seeds that you're planting during these launches or during these promotional periods that may not bear fruit in that particular launch, but you just keep watering them. You mm -hmm. just got to keep watering them, right? It takes about 90 to 120 days from a lead to go from cold to hot. And if you stop in that process of nurturing, now you got to start back at zero again. Mm -hmm. So you can't build consistent revenue because you're constantly going back to zero, right? It's like planting a seed and then digging it up a week later and to see if it's grown. It's like, well, it's never going to grow. You know what I mean? So um, <laughs> to answer your question, um, yeah, it's really important to us that we provide really high quality service um but yeah putting boundaries in place around what that looks like from a personal standpoint is still a dance for me uh, yeah. because that's a big promise that i made at the beginning uh for myself and also for my team and also for my clients yeah yeah you guys really nail it like in, in observation of you and, and having really some dear friends who worked with you intimately in in their you know creative endeavors and uh just nothing but just amazing feedback and so Huge, huge props to you guys. And and so maybe we can move into some some fun marketing topics since we're already kind of talking about it a little bit as it pertains to, you know, even like launch periods and and um, things of that nature. Would love, since you mentioned it, word of mouth marketing. How do you do yeah. word of mouth marketing in 2024? And and we're we're a, a business here that has never spent money on ads. We've never driven traffic to our show. We've never driven traffic to our site or our product pages. It's been all organic, huge props to this girl over here. Uh, it's been authentic marketing, word of mouth marketing. And, uh, you know, thank God we've been successful. Um, but how do you do it? I, sometimes I even scratch my head like, man, there's so many podcasts now. If we would try to start now, this would be literally a hundred times harder than it was in 2019. 
uh, how do folks do it? What's, what's the, what's the recipe for word of mouth, organic growth? Easy. Deliver the best results possible. That's it. Fulfill your promise. Say you're going to do something and actually fucking do it. Mm. Like that's it. Like that is how you grow a business word of mouth. Um, and then throughout the process, give them that high touch, you know, high caliber experience, right? It's all about the experience. And especially like when we build these courses as well. And, you know, Mimi, you and I you know, talked about this right at the beginning. It's like, I don't want to just slap a bunch of videos together here. Like anyone can do that, right? Mm -hmm. That's essentially throwing spaghetti against the wall, right? When you take someone through an experience that takes them through this kind of like cinematic bell curve, like they're coming in then there's like a peak and then they're like done at the end. It's like they just rode this roller coaster through your course experience. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to ask for more. They're going to be like, yo, what did you just do to me? Not only did you give me the result that you promised you were going to give me, but you took me through a fucking experience getting right. that result. So now it's like, what else you got for me, dude? Right. And that's how you extend the average lifetime value of the customer, right? And that's how you create a really strong backend offer. That's how you scale a business is if you take th someone through an experience that is unforgettable. And what you do is you turn them from a client into a fan. And fans are how you grow word of mouth because fans are mission driven. They will recruit other people to the mission for you because they are fanatical about your mission. Think about sports teams. Think about, you know, uh, movie stars or rock mm -hmm. stars that have these like you know think about the Beatles and it's like they had these like crazy fans right they didn't have to do Facebook ads or yeah. whatever like right. no they people were just like there's a million people that are going nuts for this band or for this sports team like I'm at least curious to find out what they're doing like they got to be doing something and guess what Curiosity leads to conversations, and conversations lead to conversions. Those are the three C's of building a business. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed that, check out right over here for some more fun clips. Oh, and you're going to want to subscribe. Bye.